All right, so we're checking out the only game where the answer to everything is to marry into wealth. It's... I, I looked at a thread and no one could decide how to pronounce this game. The developer, I think, calls it Salig, so that's what we're gonna call it. Salig is a game where you get to gain wealth and power by being something like a brewer or a leather worker. We're not doing that. That's because working is hard being a dick is easy. New game, damn it. So I have something of a plan here. Uh, the first plan is we have to find the wealthiest woman that there is and immediately marry her. The other plan is we're gonna start chopping firewood, find anyone else who has the capability of chopping firewood, burn their house down so that we're the only one left, corner the market, and then become the town guard. Why would you want to become the town guard? Because being the guard lord is friggin' broken beyond all belief. You're completely above the law. You can do whatever you want. And the best part is you can outlaw your competition so that they go to prison and you could bust into their house, confiscate all their stuff, and then sell it at the trading post. Speaking of trading posts, that's the other thing that we're going to own because we're going to steal people. Oh, hold on, it's not really stealing. We're gonna forcibly confiscate people's stuff just so that we can sell it back to them <laughs> at our own trading post. Our character's name and family will be Joey Cannoli. My hope for the Cannoli family is that we can eventually own everything in the entire city. Not really because it'll make us more money because then there'll be no one else to buy stuff, but mostly just because I want to be able to own the city and then probably just burn it all down. Where have I seen these character models before? Oh my God, you can have Fabio hair. <laughs> oh no. Like a blonde Fabio. Oh yeah, give me that soul patch too, baby. I kind of like these boots. It looks like I found a deer, punched it in the face, stole its skin and wrapped around my feet. You get to have a story. Your mother brought you into this world and gave you the best start she could. What comes to mind when you think back about her? She cherished everything. She's the best. Man, all these are really nice. She left your life early on. Like she died or she just said, screw this kid. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm picking this one. Your father played an important role in your life and helped shape who you've become. What was he known for? His skill in battle, his strength, his dedication, his dishonesty. Yes. During your childhood, you got the glimpse of the life you wanted to lead. What was the first thing you enjoyed? Exploration, collecting berries, caring for chickens, taking money from others. The best part is it doesn't matter if this is forcibly or through trading because we're gonna do it both ways. The time has finally come for you to step out on your own and say goodbye to your family. What was the last thing you did before you left? Cook everyone a meal, forage for supplies, enjoy some ale, play with the dog. Light the house on fire. Oh, it's so hard, St stole a bag of coins. I gotta do it, we're lighting the house. Your story is set. You must now step out and choose your new home. Our father was the only one left because our mother was already gone. And you can tell that guy's like that son of a bitch child. <laughs> Joey Cannoli began his life as all men do by burning the house down and giving his father the double middle finger. Now he must practice his trade of screwing people over all across the world. The first things first, we're applying for guard captain. We look just like the other guard captain, so maybe that'll work in our favor. All right, we're buying this trading post. Yeah, whatever, you're gonna throw in, they throw in the employee with it, why not? Buy the trading post, get the, why does everyone look like me? Wood cutting place, buy it. Other wood cutting place. Ooh. Damn it, I have too much property. I'm probably gonna end up burning this thing to the ground. Freeman Appleton. He's a thief that has an excellent wood cutting skill. Seems like a skill every thief would have. Sure, you're hired. Now it is time to find a woman. In the Guild 3, we were looking for fertility. But here we're looking for someone with wealth and power. That's basically it. Those are the only two criteria for a woman. Beggar, garbage. Not even worth our time. Here we go. We found our woman. She's a little older than us, but you know what? That's how it goes. Go get her, Joey. Gotta upgrade my cart here because with the third upgrade, they throw in a free horse. It's like getting power steering or something. I don't know where the hell it comes from. It just appears. Hello, we have the same color hair. Isn't that wonderful? 
I stole this ale from someone. Perhaps you would like it. Here's some flour I stole as well. This is how you courted women back in the time. Give them booze and bread. And then you just creepily follow them. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I love a woman who can slide randomly on her knees like that. Hold on, I may have found an even better wife. This one's younger. <laughs> now I feel really bad for trading the other woman in for this younger woman. I hate to say it, but the other lady wasn't as easy as this one. So, <laughs> well, it's kind of how it goes. Someone bought the other woodcutting hut. I think I know how to take care of this. Nine o'clock, the witching hour. <laughs> Make sure no one's looking and set this goddamn place on fire. Hold on, there's a guy right there. <laughs> okay, now set it on fire. I'm not gonna lie. Probably the most ironic thing in the world is a firewood hut burning to the ground. <laughs> Come on, Joey, you can do it just like you did to your dear old dad. You left him with the president of a smoldering house and we can do the same thing to these bastards. Burn, baby, burn. This is what you get. You're now warm. <laughs> it's a fantastic way to stay healthy. Just stand right next to the burning woodcutter hut. I get the feeling that this looks pretty suspicious considering I'm staring at it like a psychopath without helping or doing anything about it. They just got done putting it out. <laughs> so I'm setting it back on fire. We gotta finish this up. Come on now, let's get that all the way to the ground. I don't wanna see anything left. There we go. Now we're the only woodcutter in town. Oh my God, it takes forever to woo a woman. What in the holy hell happened to this lady's face? Even she's got a, a partner, she's married somehow. Damn it, someone got the younger woman before I could get there. She's already been married. That means that this lady is the last one left. I mean, I, I hate to, it's kind of a terrible reason to marry someone, but you know, it's the medieval times, man. Please marry me. This took forever to do. I beg of you, woman. You're the only one left who's not married. I'm- I'm guessing this embrace is a yes. Please tell me that's a yes. It's a yes. Yes! Oh my god, she was stacked! Oh damn, she owned a trading post too, so now we have a trading post monopoly! My wife is amazing! It's time to have sex. You can have a pet dog that keeps people from burning your house down? Okay. I don't know why, but there was a silver jewelry piece sitting inside of a friggin' stump. Sounds like something that needs to go over to the trading post. Love making. It's time for the demonetization scenes in this game. <laughs> Joey is suffering from a mild illness. I know how to cure that. Holy Jesus, we're selling some bread. Inside of the cannoli house, Joey goes to wake up his wife. I- are you allowed to wake your wife up? You're not. She is completely asleep and she refuses to have lovemaking right now. There we go. Now the time of lovemaking is finally upon us. <laughs> Don't mind my projectile vomit. <laughs> It shouldn't, it shouldn't impede with <laughs> gain knowledge about reproduce. <laughs> Did I not have any knowledge up until this point? Yeah, I bought these pills from the herbalist. It should, it should up our chances quite a bit. Despite a lot of passion, no baby was made. Damn it. My practice is off as possible. You got it. How come every time I sell firewood, my silver jewelry duplicates? Did anyone, anyone just see that? <laughs> I had a stack of firewood and only one of these silver jewelries and every time the firewood sells I get another jewelry Stonks Okay, let's try this baby thing again You know, it would work a lot better if you actually touched one another I, I can see you're just like hovering just out of reach Maybe you could do a little bit harder Despite a lot of passion, no baby was made God damn The Oaks family built their freaking wood cutting hut up again God damn it. What a twisted world this is where I have to burn the same damn hut down twice. I'm gonna burn the friggin' house down after this too. You know what to do, Joey. It's just you and this horse out here. I've been setting this thing on fire all night long. For the love of God, the friggin' rain! <laughs> For the love of God, you're a woodcutting hut. You're made of wood. Just burn to the ground already. This is how annoyed I've gotten. I'm just starting a fire in broad daylight at this point. <laughs> there we go, down to the ground. Oh my God. More friggin' loot sitting inside of a goddamn old stump. So, I just told my wife I hate her and she divorced me. 
So now I'm single again, but I get to keep all of her stuff? What the hell? I've been going about this the wrong way the whole time. Where's this woman at? She has a business. I need to marry her and then tell her I hate her. Follow this woman. Do not let her out of your sight. We cannot allow another man to have her. Please marry me and don't worry about the last woman I was with. She, she meant nothing to me. <laughs> oh, it totally works. You get even more wealth and power. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, with all this money, let me go ahead and upgrade all my stuff real quick. <sighs> okay, I gotta see if this works. So, if we become the guard captain, can we outlaw different women's husbands so that we can dump our old wife and then get the new wife and get her stuff? My god, my previous wife is a thief now. She has to steal to live and she just lives in a bunk. <laughs> Ah, looks like my wife came with a woolen coat to protect me from the cold. Think I'll go and grab that while she's not around. There you go, Joey. Stay nice and warm, buddy. The elders have voted, and you've now been chosen as the new guard captain. You can collect fines, confiscate goods, and have immunity from the law. Okay, now it's time to see if we can really screw this place up. All right, so first we have to pick someone here who is a business owner. Here we go, this young lady over here, she owns a business. Who is your husband? The friggin' bishop. Of course. You have used your powers to declare beat an outlaw. They've been fired from their job and will remain an outlaw until a guard catches them. <laughs> he was the bishop. <laughs> There's a guard right there. <laughs> just caught him. <laughs> hey, Cotton family. I want to buy your tavern. You don't want to sell it to me, huh? That's fine. That's fine. Do you wish you sold it to me now? I'll bet you did. No one help him. I'm the guard captain. I decide who gets helped and who doesn't. There we go. Super lube. A worker at your flour mill has reported that the mill is turning much easier than normal since a miner gave him a jar of thick black muck. <laughs> Super lube. One of the elders owns this farm over here. I'm kind of curious if I can burn this down real quick. This way, hopefully someone else can buy it. Right now, there's no women that own anything. There's no one else for me to marry. All right, burning this thing down is a pain in my ass. So I just went in and took a bunch of stuff. Official police business. Time to go over to the trading post and sell it. All right, I'm going to try something. Since there's no women with property, you can rent houses. So I'm going to see if I can marry more women, take their houses, and do stuff that way. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> Alright, this lady here has a house. So she should be perfect. Don't mind me. I'm just going to stand here looking at you while you sleep. Wife number three. I'm a guard captain. It's pretty cool. Give me your house. <laughs> oh my god, she had 20 grand. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and rent this. <laughs> now I gotta get rid of her and find another wife. It was a good 20 seconds. Thanks for the house. All right, let's see who's next here. Ooh, a metal worker. You have a lovely house. You're next. This is gonna be a little awkward because this lady actually works for me, but whatever. Wife number four, please let this work. Oh man, she was worth barely nothing. Maybe this grave digger will be better. You're fired. Also, I'm going to divorce. Just waiting for you to wake up so we can begin the procedure. Damn it, my ex-wife just set my house on fire. You are the only one for me. Really, I swear. God damn it, she just got friggin' married to some other dude. It was you? Are you the one? This other dude over here is trying to roll up on my girl. I swear to God. Okay, how come every everyone else has a single picture, but this guy's picture has a creepy lady looming in the background? <laughs> you know that until death do us part thing? Yeah, no one really takes that seriously. So, uh, give me your cash. I've got five houses now from all the different wives we've had. <laughs> all right, it's time to take this lady with the furs, her house. It's next. My house is on fire, but it's all right. <laughs> I've got another house coming my way right now. 25 grand. Oh, madam, you shouldn't have. Offer for rent. Well, we did it. <laughs> I don't even know how many wives have we gone through. We've got so many houses. <laughs> We've taken the money from everyone. We've taken the businesses from everyone. 
We became the guard captain. <laughs> and we've created a, like a, a real estate company, essentially, by renting out all the properties that we have. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Salik. Till next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>